do you really think the guys in the office are going to take you seriously if you show up in that baggy old v-neck sweater and black chinos mm, i think not but don't worry i've got your back Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. So recently I released a video linked below in which I broke down one of the most intimidating dress codes for guys, business casual. And now because I will always be your go-to men's style YouTube wing woman, I prepared 10 of my favorite outfits that will help you to master this aesthetic and look your best in the office and beyond. All right, let's get down to business casual. <laughs> okay, so before we start, in my ultimate guide to business casual video, I mentioned that one of the most frustrating things about this particular dress code is that there are different levels of formality depending on the specific workplace or event. So we're going to start off with the most relaxed version and get more formal as the video goes on. First up, we have a couple of examples of the blue collar business casual look. So this would work best for guys in managerial positions in industries like manufacturing or construction, or for those working in a startup or something similar. Also, if your company requires you to wear their logo apparel, here's how to style it. Okay, so our first outfit demonstrates the sheer power of what is, in my eyes, an essential business casual item, the polo shirt. So it's dressier than a t-shirt, but more relaxed than a dress shirt. The polo is the perfect piece for more casual work environments and occasions. I'd actually recommend picking one up in a more versatile shade like navy and black before moving on to bolder colors. And what makes the light purple polo shown here work is that it is really grounded by the neutral dress pants and dress shoes. Now, for those of you that have to wear your company's logoed polo, for instance, the best way to really elevate it and look stylish is to pair it with tailored dress pants. Also, please take note of how the color of the belt matches the double monk straps, aka dress shoes, worn down below. So matching your shoes to your belt is an essential style rule that all guys should follow regardless of the dress code. But you already knew that, right? Right? Next up, we have a return from our new favorite short sleeve shirt, but this time it's not tucked into the dress pants. So regardless if you decide to leave your polo tucked or untucked, when paired with dress shoes and a dressier pant, either wool trousers or in this case chinos, your outfit will look stylish and put together. Now, one thing to know is that if you are a bigger guy, I would leave your polo untucked as to not draw a spotlight on your stomach region. All right, so now let's move in a dressier direction for the creative business casual aesthetic. So this type of attire is best suited to an office environment like tech or marketing where the dress code is usually pretty flexible. So first up, we have a cool green Oxford shirt worn with some classic tan chinos and a pair of white low top sneakers. Now, the Oxford shirt is a fundamental item across the business casual spectrum, and I'd recommend getting one in white and definitely light blue before playing around with bolder, less, I would say, versatile colors such as this green shade. And what can I say about tan chinos except that they're amazing and they go with everything and you should definitely own a pair if you don't already. As stated in my ultimate guide video, sneakers are permitted in certain business casual outfits, provided that you keep them cleaner than Martha Stewart's soap collection. So no man's business casual wardrobe is complete without some stylish footwear options. And if you're looking to really put your best foot forward, then look no further than the sponsor of this video, Lethato. Founded in 2016, Lethato is a premium shoe brand that specializes in handcrafted dress shoes made from the highest quality Italian leather. They offer an extensive selection of shoes and boots to choose from, but my personal favorites have to be these classic chukka boots. Constructed from full grain leather, these stylish chukkas have been handcrafted and hand painted for long lasting style and comfort. They feature a Blake stitch construction for superior durability, while the interior features a leather lining and cushioned leather insole. Now, the sole of the boot has been crafted from Argentinian leather with an added rubber protector that allows for extra grip while walking. I also love these golden aglets on the tips of the laces. 
It's like little touches like this that really make these boots stand out. Let the Dough is offering my viewers 10% off their entire order. Simply head down to the description and use the link and code provided. Thanks again to Let the Dough for sponsoring this video. And now back to our list of stylish business casual outfits. Next up, we have an outfit that is probably the kind of look that you first think of when you hear the term business casual. So here we have a shirt and tie combo worn with a pair of khaki chinos and some stylish black loafers down below. For me, this particular outfit is all about the details. For example, see how the no-show socks combined with the rolled chino hem allows for some handsome mankle exposure. And can we please acknowledge the expert level accessorizing going on here? The glasses match the watch, which matches the belt, which matches the shoes. And though ties are not an essential business casual accessories, they can admittedly add a feeling of smartness and some nice texture as shown here. Also, the shiny little tie bar, gold star for you, my friend. So I chose this next outfit because it showcases two items that every man should have as part of his business casual wardrobe, a sports coat, and a nice pair of chukka boots. So a sports coat is one of those pieces that instantly elevates anything that it's paired with. And it can be worn over everything from Oxford shirts to cashmere sweaters to crew neck t-shirts as shown here. Now, as I've said in the past, you wanna go for a sports coat here and not a suit jacket, as this will definitely look off when worn with, well, anything that's not its suit pants. If you wanna try out the blazer over t-shirt look, then I'd recommend sticking with a darker blazer over a white t-shirt. And please, avoid logos, slogans, and graphics of all varieties. Now, as for the chukka, a nice suede version is my go-to boot when it comes to business casual outfits, as it has a relaxed yet put together look and goes with everything from dark wash jeans to chinos. But opt for leather ones if you live somewhere rainy. Next up, we have a well-layered look that makes use of so many classic business casual items like an Oxford shirt, a V-neck sweater, a tweed blazer, a pair of dark wash jeans, and some smart dress shoes. So layering is one of those style moves that, if mastered, can really take your outfits to the next level and set you apart from other guys. Here, we can see how the collar of the Oxford shirt is perfectly framed by the V-neck sweater, which is because a collared shirt should be worn with a V-neck sweater rather than a crew neck, which will only cause the collar of the shirt to look like it's strangling you. Also, the tweed blazer adds some great texture to the whole top half and creates just the right amount of contrast from the other fabrics. And again, let's talk about the accessorizing here. So the watch strap matches the shoes, and though the belt isn't visible in this photo, you definitely wanna go for a similar brown shade to go with the other accessories. It's all about the details, gentlemen. For our final few outfits, we're gonna be talking strict traditional business casual dress code. So these are the looks that would work best for the more, I would say formal business casual work environments or for events like weddings or cocktail parties that call for business casual. Basically, more business, less casual. Up first, we have a simple yet handsome outfit that demonstrates the sheer power of the less is more approach to mixing and matching items. Now, once again, we see here how the V-neck sweater is the perfect layering piece when it comes to throwing something over a collared shirt. And I love how the darkness of the outer pieces allows the collar and cuffs of the white shirt to really pop. And note how each item fits perfectly from the sleeves of the sweater to the hem of the pants. And if you want to know more about how exactly your clothes should fit, check out my guide on this very topic linked down in the description. Up next, we have a photo of a model that was actually styled by yours truly. Now, what I love about this particular outfit is its sheer simplicity. Neutral colors, well-fitting pieces, and just the right amount of accessories. It's straightforward, it's sophisticated, and it's oh so easy to replicate. I'd also like to use this outfit to demonstrate the versatility of a quality pair of dark wash jeans, as this is an item I've been championing since I first started my channel. Now, many people think that DWJs can only be worn as part of a more casual look, but here we can see how they work effortlessly when worn with dressier items. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> 
Up next, we have an outfit that, if worn to a wedding, for instance, will possibly have you upstaging the bride. Though this particular look may appear to have a lot going on, keep in mind that, for the most part, we're pretty much sticking to only neutral colors here. A tan blazer, some navy chinos, a striped dress shirt, and some brown dress shoes worn down below. So this neutral color scheme not only allows the different items to work together, but it also allows you to add a subtle touch of color via your camel sports coat. Finally, we have what is undoubtedly our dressiest outfit of the bunch. Okay, so there are aspects of this particular look that amateurs should definitely avoid. See the Michael Corleone ascot. But there are also a few things that all men can take away from it. First of all, a light blue blazer such as this is a versatile item that'll look great on every guy regardless of his skin tone and will work really well with business casual outfits worn throughout the spring and summer months. Also, the woven belt is a really stylish touch and allows for a more relaxed aesthetic than your go-to leather version. And this one perfectly matches his dress shoes, which really tie in the more dressy, business casual look of this outfit. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.